Hello class, I welcome you all to this session. This is class 3. This is class 3 of not-for-profit organization. Okay, so we are going to learn about income and expenditure account in this particular session. So I'm just going to highlight this income and expenditure account. So what is this income and expenditure account? See, when you are preparing a financial statement, you generally prepare something called as profit. Sorry, just a second. Profit and loss account, right? So here, profit and loss account. It is otherwise called as income and expenditure account for a not for profit organization. See, it is obviously not for profit organization. So, how do you name an account as profit and loss account? It's common sense. So, you need to name it as income and expenditure account. So, the first is to prepare to find out the surplus or deficit. So, what you're preparing this to find out surplus or deficit okay, of a particular account. I'm just going to highlight surplus or or de deficit it is not of is or sit okay so highlight this yeah so it is not of it is or Now, what is surplus or deficit? I'll teach you what is surplus or deficit. Just uh, stay with me. Just stay with me. Okay. Now, when income, when income is more than expenditure, it is called as surplus. When expenditure is more than income, it is deficit. Obviously, na. So, when income is more than expenditure, it is surplus. When expenditure is more than income, it is deficit. Obviously. Now, surplus is added to what? It is added to capital fund now capital fund is a part of balance sheet okay so it is a part of balance sheet you should know that we will have capital in a balance sheet so it is to be added with the capital fund hope it is clear now deficit what you're going to do you need to deduct it from the capital fund so you need to deduct what deficit from the capital fund which is there in the balance <coughs> excuse me it is prepared using matching revenue receipts and revenue expenses at the end of accounting period so it is prepared using the matching concept of revenue receipts with revenue expenditure at the end of accounting period it is following what basis of accounting it is following accrual basis of accounting so you should be clear in this angle now what are the features what account is this it is a nominal account obviously debit all debit all expenses and losses credit all comes and gain so this is what is meant by nominal account so it is by nature it is a nominal account the basis of accounting is accrual you have two bases of accounting one is cash basis of accounting another one is accrual basis of accounting accrual basis means accrual Accrual means 
Pedor, Pedor, Cash is paid or not. If it is relevant, relevant for that accounting period, it is to be recorded. Okay. Similarly, whether whether cash is received or not. If it is relevant, if it is relevant for an accounting period, it is to be recorded. Okay. So this is the meaning of accrual. Okay. So this this um, income and expenditure account is following this accrual basis of accounting. Next is the accounting period. It is relevant, it is related to the current accounting period. For this particular accounting period, whatever is the expenditure that has arisen, you will record it in the debit side. For this particular accounting period, whatever is the income that is that has arisen, you will record it in the income side. Now, is there any adjustments? Yes, there are some adjustments to be made. You can see here that there are some adjustments here. Add certain items, less certain items. Okay, so less here. So adjustments are made. Now you can clearly understand that this is the format. It's just an extract of format that I have prepared, uh, just to give an idea of how all these things works. Okay, so let me just uh, clear the stuff so that you can concentrate better. So I just cleared these stuffs. Now just focus in the format of income and expenditure account. So you can see here that expenses will record it in the debit side. Incomes will record it in the credit side. So two salaries, it is an excuse me. Now pay attention. To salaries, you have some adjustments. Outstanding at the end, you will add. Outstanding in the beginning, you will deduct. To rent, that is expenditure paid. To insurance premium paid. Less premium. To honorarium. Then in the credit side, you have the income. By subscription is a form of income. You will add outstanding at the end. Add advance in the beginning. Less outstanding in the beginning. Less advance at the end. So I will be teaching you why we need to add all these things, why we have to deduct all these things later. But now please observe the format. By general donations, by rent, by sale of old newspapers. Now there will be some doubts in the mind of yours. What is honorarium? See, honorarium is nothing but like a fees, okay, which is paid to experts or important persons like a honor, okay, by honoring them. So that is called as honorarium, which is nothing but an expenses. Okay. So whenever we are having expenditure, which is more than income, which is unfavorable, this uh, then it will be called as deficit. Okay. But if we are having income more than expenditure, it will be called as surplus. I hope that this is clear. So this will be the respective balancing figure okay so we will be solving a problem so that uh, you understand how this income and expenditure account works thank you class